Kanye West is undeniably a controversial figure, and many are hesitant to engage with him due to his unpredictable behavior. He is widely known for his famous interruption of Taylor Swift during her award ceremony. I think nobody can forget that incident. It left a, a lasting impression on him being a loose cannon. Similar, similarly, people like Candace Owens is also outspoken and deeply committed to pushing back against any attempts to limit her freedom of expression or freedom of speech. I recently watched an interview with Candace Owens and Kanye on Rumble which led to a demonetization or a suspension um, from YouTube for her. I'm not entirely sure of the exact nature of this demonetization or suspension where, you know, it's one of those things where she's saying that she's been demonetized. It's like some sort of, they gave her a strike, right? And if you watch the interview, you'll see that one of the conversations they're really having here is around a certain particular group that if you talk about them, you are deemed anti-Semitic. You cannot even say the word, okay? This is a word that is barred from the internet. You can't type it in, you can't say it. And if you do, it makes you look like you're a racist, a bigot, uh, 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 you know, a person that is deeply anti-Semitic, like I said even if you have a conversation about this particular group. And that is what they were doing. I counted at least in the, within the first five minutes of the Rumble video, at least 20 times they said this word. But as a publicist, I can tap into trends pretty easily on what the, the court of public opinion is and what people are feeling out there. Because every day on these apps, people are telling you what they're concerned about and you know, the videos that come and then they get deleted tells you everything you need to know about the powers that be that are censoring you on any particular app, whether it be Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, any of these platforms that are big, Twitter, they all have some level of censorship. But what is clear is that we are likely going to see more of this censorship, especially if, and I, it's a strong if, if, Kamala Harris wins this presidency. Another Democratic-led presidency over the next few years could really, you could see an increase in social credit scores, a deep dive into people's past, um, you know, basically people like me, uh, what I've spoken out against or what I've spoken out in favor of. This growing environment of scrutiny is why so many people are afraid of speaking out. They fear backlash or professional fallout. For instance, I recently saw a TikTok where a woman shared how she lost her job as a bartender simply for expressing her dislike of Kamala Harris. This is alarming. I've watched as other creators on these apps talk about, you know, switching from one political party to another. And here's the, here's the important takeaway from this. None of these parties are coming to save us. It's simple as that. We have to come together. We have to. There's no other way out of this. And one of the things I did notice from that, that conversation between Candace Owens and Kanye West was they were too entirely focused, I'm sorry to say it this way, on this particular community. So it did come across a bit like hate speech, I, I have to admit, because we have to be careful to not um, compartmentalize anyone, right? Once we start doing that, once we start putting people into a box and saying, you know, all people are like, all people in this group are like this, all people in this group are this way. Once we have these absolutes, then we are coming across prejudicial, biased, and not really willing to understand that not everyone falls into that category. There is a small few that run this world. And once people realize this and understand that it's not a whole community at all, it's a very tiny few. Sure, certain people have access to better things with their circumstances that they were brought into this world with, you know, being born to a particular race or a family or a class or an ethnic group. But the fact remains is we are all in this together, people. We got to stop the bickering. We have to. It is exhausting. Anyways, please share your comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this issue. Should Candace Owens get her channel back? I mean, after all, the video was pulled immediately. I don't know. You tell me. 
Have a great day. And as always, think for yourself.